What is going on guys, it's Bucky and welcome to your 13th C++ tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you guys how to use variables in classes but it's a little different than you guys might expect so just stick with me and I'm going to show you guys the wrong way and then I'm going to show you guys the proper way to use variables in your classes. So before we even get started this tutorial I want to include the string class as one of our files because we're going to be working with strings in this tutorial and if you can't remember a string is just basically a another word for text so whenever we are outputting things like um, hey now brown cow this text is just another word for a string so that's what a string is to give you guys a quick little background on that so go ahead and include the string class right under your IO stream right above your namespace and now like I said before I show you guys the proper way to use variables I want to show you guys the wrong way because this is a common mistake that a lot of beginners do so you go ahead and you added your access modifier public and say you wanted to make a name variable well a name is of course a string so go ahead and make a variable called name and set it equal to the type string this is good to go I mean so now we have a variable in our Bucky class called name so again if you remember from the last tutorial in order to use the things in that class you first need to create an object so in order to create an object you type the class name and then the name of your object I'm gonna name mine BO which does not stand for body odor it stands for Bucky's object so then we have an object named BO and with that BO object we can access variables by using the dot separator and just the name of your variable so then once we have this variable name from the Bucky's class we can go ahead and see it equal to any name we want like Bucky Roberts and then this variable right here is equal to Bucky Roberts so then whenever we try to print it out BO dot name it just goes ahead and it prints out Bucky Roberts on the screen so you're saying alright Bucky that seemed to work pretty darn good to me so why did you say that that was not the proper way to do stuff well I don't want to get into too much detail but basically I want to stress this making class variables public is generally not good programming practice I don't want to get into like software engineering but basically whenever you make your variables public it makes your programs really easy to mess up so typically what people like to do is make their variables private and again there are some exceptions but typically you want to make all your variables in your class private so you're saying alright I remember from the last tutorial you told me that whenever I make variables private I can't access them in main so whenever you try to run this program right here we get an error so you're saying alright this is just gonna cause me a bunch of headaches what am I supposed to do well if you remember what I said I said nothing outside your class can access these variables so we need to build a public function inside your class to have access to those variables so that is what we need to do so let's go ahead and delete all this and we already made our variable private so now let's go ahead and make public functions to access them because remember if we make a public function to access that variable we can use those public functions outside our class in our main so in order to do that just go ahead and write public and now everything you type under here is going to be public so we want to add two functions the first one is just going to be first of all we're going to want to do two things to this variable name we want to be able to change it and and that means set it like set it equal to Bucky set it equal to Tom set it equal to Jessica so we want to be able to set the name and our second function is just going to get the name we want to return the value Bucky we want to return the value Tom Jessica whatever so we have two functions one to set the variable and one to get the variable so in order to set the variable just go ahead and set it equal to void because it's not returning anything we're just changing the variable and what people typically do is write set and then your variable name after that and after this we're going to go ahead and use the string and we're going to call x because we're going to be passing in a string such as Bucky Roberts, Jessica Thompson, Tommy and that variable is going to be equal to the value x so whenever we set name we want to change it all we need to do is set it equal to the variable x and then it sets it equal to whatever value we passed in for example if we say set name Bucky it's going to treat Bucky as x and now our name variable is going to be equal Bucky simple enough 
So that is called our setter method, or excuse me, setter function. A method is actually, if I say method and I actually mean to say function, just remember that I, uh, I've i been teaching like 80 different computer program languages, and in some languages they call a method a function and vice versa, so I might get it mixed up, but trust me, a method and a function is just the same thing. So anyways, with that little background, I now want to say this. We already built our setter function, how to change that name variable. Well, now we want to build a function to access it. And remember, since we want that name in return, we go ahead and type string because the name is, of course, a string, a bunch of text. So what people typically do here is instead of set, they write get because they just want to get the name. So go ahead and write get name. It's not going to take any parameters. And in the body, this is probably the easiest thing you're ever going to do. All you do is return the variable. So check it out. We don't have direct access to this variable so we have to go through functions. In order to change this variable we go ahead and we use this function. In order just to get the value of the variable we go ahead and we use this function. So now instead of directly accessing this variable we can do it through public functions. So again like I said the only thing that have the only thing that has access to these private variables are other things inside this class. So if we make those functions public, then we can access that variable, kind of like cheating, you know? So in order to do this, again, in order to use those functions, we again need an object. So Bucky's class, make another BO object. And now under this, if I scroll up, we can go ahead and BO we can use the functions from that class by using the object name and then the dot separator and then we'll just go ahead and the first thing we want to do is set a value to that so go ahead and let me just copy this paste it right here and we'll set the name equal to something stupid like um sir bucky wallace if you guys know where the name sir william wallace comes from then leave me a comment below Congratulations. So now this name variable is equal to the name Sir Bucky Wallace. So instead of accessing it directly, you can see that we went through a function that was public to do so. So now what we can do is we can just, you know, print it out or something stupid. So C out. And in order to print it out, we just can't go ahead and write BO dot name because we don't have access to that variable. What we need to do is we need to go through the function get name just like that and now what this function does is it returns the name it's basically a way to make a private a public simple as that so now when we go ahead and print it out building around this as long as I don't have any errors and I don't check it out sir Bucky Wallace so let me guys let me talk you through this one more time what we did is we wanted to access this private name variable. Well, we couldn't access it directly or else it will give us an error. So what we need to do is we needed to build public functions, one to change the name and one to get the name. So then later on in our program, whenever we wanted to use those function, we went ahead and we created an object. And then remember, whenever you want to use anything inside your class, write the object dot separator function, object dot separator function and then we ran our program and it worked pretty darn good so that is the bad way to use variables and also the proper way to use variables again you can put these variables as public but it's just bad programming practice and bad software engineering you're never gonna get a job as a computer engineer if you make your variables public so thank you guys for watching this tutorial um, if you have any questions check out my website thenewboston.com it's a pretty sweet website I definitely want to check it out so uh I am going to go get a drink because I've cotton mouth now and uh, you guys study this tutorial and I'll see you in the next video.